Every huge building is built from a single cornerstone. Every long journey starts with a single step. DMET alumni, an unbreakable chain with many successful hands, attained milestones by being the sculptors of the present-day maritime sector. Such a huge success story cannot be created all of a sudden. It has a hard working history. Remembering the past is always a catalyst to aspire the magnificent future. The story of the ocean starts with a single drop. Many drops became the clusters of water. It then became the backwaters. And many backwaters came together to form lagoons. And then seas were created. Many seas collectively created oceans. Oceans, these massive water bodies, spread across the world beyond the horizon, have always been a mystery. Continents drifted apart like strangers in it. But with the emergence of human beings, different cultures developed across the world. For generations, several attempts were made to conquer the borders set by these oceans. Several types of floating structures were made, after Noah's Ark, the Egyptian Dows, Roman Triremes, Spanish Galleons, Clipper Ships, Paddle Streamers, Steam Ships, and eventually the modern ships came. Continents got connected and more than 90% of the trade took place through the seas. More and more sea routes got opened. Shipping became the backbone of world trade. Modern ships run on technology. The revolutionary invention of the internal combustion engine was the beginning of it. In search of better speed and efficiency, technology improvised. While crossing the vast oceans in the worst of conditions, ships have to generate her own power for running hundreds of systems without break, make food and fresh water for the entire crew, process the entire waste on board including gases, which can generate environmental hazards, take care of life-saving and firefighting situations, etc. Whether it is diesel or heavy fuel engines, electric or jet propulsion, or even steam or gas turbines, dedicated, hard-working and versatile engineers are required to meet the high-tech and challenging requirements of a ship's engine room. They set new working and living standards incomparable to any other society. They are known as marine engineers, one of the most demanded and highly paid professional communities in the maritime world. The First and Second World Wars witnessed technological revolution in marine engineering. Many universities started marine engineering training and research centers all over the world. As the second most populated country in the world, with a coastline of over 7,500 kilometers, maritime training became an integral part of Indian shipping before independence. The first Indian-owned vessel, SS Loyalty of Sindhya Steam Navigation Company, sailed out to the Bombay Harbour for London on the 5th of April 1919. The master and the other officers were British. Maritime training in India had its formal beginning in 1927. On board the training ship, Dufferin, with around 50 cadets. In 1935, training of engineering cadets also commenced on the Dufferin, with each batch consisting of 25 nautical and 25 engineering cadets. At least eight of the Dufferin's first graduates rose to become admirals. In 1947, the newly independent country foresaw the need for an up-to-date and modern merchant marine. 